We are back to the initial sales data source and uh, based on it we will answer a question what is the classic layout of a pivot table? If you learned Excel back in Excel 2003, your pivot table default settings could be a bit different because in the display the default option was the classic pivot table layout. Let's turn it on for this particular pivot table to see what is the difference. If I create right now a pivot table like product, category, region and sum of sales, the main difference is that you can pick the field straight from a pivot table and place it somewhere else, like from columns shelf to the uh, filters shelf and also to the rows shelf. You could also take the value and remove it straight from here out of the pivot table if you don't need it. This is the main advantage of working um, with a pivot table uh, like this. I'm more used to working with the shelves on the right, but actually you could turn the old uh, layout if you wish. Another interesting question is, can I turn this classic layout also for the future pivot tables? Or maybe can I also change the default layout of a pivot table, but report layout to show it, for example, in tabular form without any grand totals and subtotals? The answer is yes, if you have Excel 365. You can change it under file and options, data, and in here you have edit default layout of a pivot table. So you can actually make your pivot table in a tabular form for the future without any grand totals and without any subtotals. What is more, you've got plenty of more pivot table options you can set up for your default pivot table. Like for example, for empty cell show always zero. Don't autofit column because it's irritating. Show items with no data always on rows and on columns and turn on the classic pivot table layout if you wish.